Hey everybody, Caleb here from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Today we're gonna look at how to create your very own customized intro and outro. Let's go. Are you in marketing, a business owner, or a content creator? When you create content, are you using a personal intro and outro? If not, keep watching as I explain how to create an intro and outro using Filmora. I'm going to show you how to do this with pre-designed templates, as well as creating your own unique intro and outro. Just easily customize it with your own logo and brand name. Typically, this takes designers days to create, as well as you'll pay a pretty penny for their work. But with Filmora, you'll be finished in just five minutes. For intros and outros as a brand, it's important to use your logo as this is who you are. Once you have your logo, grab a background you'd like to use. You can choose from anywhere online or the many options Filmora offers. Upload your logo to the editing software and now it's time for the fun part. Add your background to the toolbar and then your logo on top. Make sure to have the logo the size you want as well as where you want it placed. Remember to leave some room for any text you'd like to add. Now we're going to animate your logo so that it captivates the audience while quickly showing your brand. There are many different tools you can use to figure out what you like the best, such as under the transitions, effects, and animation tools. Spend your time figuring out what visuals you like and how they look with your logo as this will be seen by everyone who watches your content. Personally, I like the orb one as my transition showing the logo. Then I'm going to add in some text telling the viewers a small blurb about the brand. Just by selecting titles and choosing which text I prefer the best. I'm going to add a flowing animation on my text so that it flows in with my logo. Next, I will add in a subscribe button under stickers as this intro and outro will be for YouTube. Don't forget to add your visual effect for the button as well. Keeping the intro and outro short and sweet to keep people's attention so this looks good enough. And finally, it's time to add in music. You want something catchy that everyone will enjoy. The AI music generator can help with this and pick something based on the mood you'd like. Or you can choose yourself from any of the other various audios Filmora offers, or even import and add your own. Just like that, you have a simple intro and outro using Filmora. Filmora also offers templates to make the process even easier if you aren't looking for a fully customized option. Under templates, select what you like and press edit. Add in your own logo and text, and now you have many different intros and outros to choose from. Since I'm very happy with how this looks, I'm going to save to my computer in case I would like to come back and edit it in the future. And then I'll export it so that I have the MP4 file ready to go and edit into my future videos. And just like that, in less than five minutes, you were able to create a beautiful intro and outro using Filmora. Those were some nice tips. Thanks for watching. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time.